And I'm convinced that if we are to get on the right side of the world revolution, we as a nation must undergo a radical revolution of values. We must rapidly begin to shift from a thing-oriented society to a person-oriented society when machines and computers, profit motives and property rights are considered more important than people. The giant triplets of racism, militarism, and economic exploitation are incapable of being conquered. A true revolution of values will soon cause a true revolution of values will soon look uneasily on the glaring contrast of poverty and wealth with indignation. A true revolution of values will lay hands on the world order and say of war, this way of settling differences is not just this business of burning human beings with napalm, of sending men home from dark and bloody battlefields, physically handicapped and psychologically deranged, cannot be reconciled with wisdom, justice, and love. rise up against nations, neither shall they study war anymore. And I don't know about you, I ain't gonna study war no more. A nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual death. I knew that America would never invest the necessary funds or energies in rehabilitation of its poor. So long as adventures like Vietnam continue to draw men and skills and money like some demonic destructive suction tube. And don't let anybody make you think that God chose America as his divine messianic forced to be a sort of policeman of the whole world. God has a way of standing before the nations with judgment, and it seems that I can hear God saying to America, you're too arrogant. If you don't change your ways, I will rise up and break the backbone of your power. In the hands of a nation that doesn't even know my name. I call on Washington today. I call on every man and woman of goodwill all over America today. I call on the young men of America who must make a choice today to take a stand on this issue. moving down a dead-end road that can lead to national disaster. America has strayed to the far country of racism and militarism, and this unnatural excursion has brought only confusion and bewilderment. It has left hearts aching with guilt and minds distorted with irrationality. It is time for all people of conscience to call upon America to come back home.
Come home, America. Come back home. They owe our government, and the press generally won't tell us these things, but God told me to tell you this morning. The truth must be told.